I rise today to bring voice to my constituents who have been screwed over and ripped off by our utility company, Central Hudson. My colleagues here may never have heard of Central Hudson, but the people of the Hudson Valley know them all too well. Mr. Speaker, I rise today for the farmer in Ulster Park, New York, who received such a massive utility bill, $16,585, 17 times her normal bill, that she actually contemplated suicide. She described the debt which put her at risk of losing her family farm as a guillotine hanging over her head. I rise for the single mother in Kingston who told me she's afraid to cook for her four kids because turning on the stove means facing a gigantic gas bill. For the mayor of our city of Newburgh, who received a bill of $708,000 for a single month of electricity at his three-bedroom family home. For senior citizens on a fixed income who had their entire checking accounts wiped out by an auto pay withdrawal. And I could tell hundreds more of these stories and still not scratch the surface of this incredible corporate ineptitude. Mr. Speaker, we rely on our public utilities for a necessary service. They exist for the public good, and they're built on a foundation of public trust. Central Hudson and its CEO, Mr. Charles Frenny, have irrevocably broken this trust. Since my calls for an investigation into Central Hudson's disastrous billing practices almost a year ago, we've received more than 11,000 formal complaints. A New York State Department of Public Service report revealed Central Hudson's billing system was riddled with hundreds of programming errors, leading to nearly 5,000 customers not receiving their bills, 8,000 customers overcharged, and more than 30,000 customers whose auto pay was billed incorrectly, incorrectly, costing them over $16 million. And I want to be clear, I do not fault the hardworking employees of Central Hudson. They begged for additional training. They suggested improvements to this system. They worked hours and hours of overtime. They wanted to do the right thing for the people of the Hudson Valley. But Central Hudson and its CEO clearly did not. Just two weeks ago, in response to this devastating Public, Serv Public Service Commission report documenting their systemic failures, Central Hudson doubled down on their deflection, their denial, and their deception. Rather than taking ownership of their failures, they claimed that no customers were overcharged and that nobody lost any money. I mean, give me a break. Central Hudson's leadership deliberately chose to sweep these problems under the rug. Why? Because now owned by a multi-billion dollar multinational corporation, they chose to put profits over people. At the same time as our customers, my constituents' bills were skyrocketing and bank accounts were literally being emptied out, their revenues were up over 30% and their profits, surprise, surprise, they're up too. Central Hudson has had opportunity after opportunity to own their mistakes and take accountability. But time and again, they have failed to do so. Mr. Speaker, there is simply no excuse for this. At a time when our families are facing tremendous economic pressure, the last thing they need to worry about is that their bank account will be emptied out just because they tried to power their home. Because of these failures and because of Central Hudson's continued unwillingness to take accountability, today I'm calling on Central Hudson CEO, Mr. Charles Frenny, to do the right thing for our community and to resign. We need a new leader who will come in, who will improve service, will finally fix these systemic problems and start the critical work to rebuild trust with our community. That is what the people of the Hudson Valley deserve. Thank you, and I yield back.